G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday afternoon here in Australia, market down ever so, well actually just trading sideways, I was going to say down ever so slightly, but it's actually just sideways, 2.51 trillion. I think this was 2.53 trillion uh, just a little bit over 24 hours ago, so just stagnant at the moment, but not stagnant in a bad way. Look, BTC dominance just under 46%. Uh, volume down quite a lot, but again, it's the weekend, that's to be expected. Bitcoin over 61,000, under 62, but over 61, which is nice. And gas prices sitting around about sort of $5. All right, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, as opposed to bringing the news. There weren't really too many news stories out there. And someone asked me a couple of days ago if I could do a video on some mid caps and some low caps. So that's what I'm going to do today. You can probably look up the top of the screen and you work out which ones we're going to look at. Now, they're coins that I've invested in. I'm not going to do, uh, you know, reviews really on coins that I haven't invested in. I'm not saying I'll never do it. But, you know, why would I want to bring you something that I haven't put my money into? That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So these are all coins that I'm invested in. I like them and we'll have a look at, you know, how they've performed uh, and whether they're a good buy at the moment and things like that. But what I do need to say after that last sentence about them being a good buy is that's not financial advice. I am definitely not a financial advisor and I am not offering you any financial advice. Just a personal opinion and this is just a guy who's been in crypto for a while and gets on here and likes to have a chat about it. So, all right, let's move on and have a look at the market first. Like I said, it's traveling sideways. Some are up, some are down, but pretty much, yeah, nothing really happening across the board. But again, there's always some outliers, but the losses will make up for the gains considering nothing's happened uh, in the market sort of overall. I'm sure there might be a couple of hundred dollars, a couple of thousand dollars difference in there, but nothing sort of major. All right, top 100, what's done well in the last 24 hours? There we go. Quant's up a little bit, 8%. So Phantom, 8%. Stellar, ICP, making a, a bit of a move there, but still way down from where it came out at $430, $450. Uh, sorry, here, that would really hurt. You know, that's down a lot, 90-ish sort of percent, basically. Stacks making a move. Shiba Inu making a little bit of a move. Aave, Engine, uh, Soul, yeah. Some all right gains there, nothing too crazy. Again, the market has moved sideways. So what about losses then? All right, so new cipher down, flow down, Olympus down, Telcoin. Again, you know, the losses and gains, again, they're pretty much just kind of cancelling each other out. So not a whole lot happening in the market, nothing too interesting. It is what it is. All right, the Bitcoin chart. Sorry, just move that just a fraction. So there we can see. It got oh so close to sort of $63,000, $64,000, well, $62,000, I think it was, yeah, just over sixty two, dollars wicked up there, and then we've had a little bit of a correction. Now, it could be the, you know, the buy the rumor, sell the new stuff. So Monday morning, if the uh, Bitcoin ETFs say they are approved, now we know they have been approved, but they're not actually running just yet. So it could be something that, you know, we get the message Monday morning, stateside time I'm talking, not Australia side time, that they have been approved and then we see a bit of a sell off. And maybe this was all sort of exuberance that was sort of bought up. And then again, we could have a bit of a correction, maybe back down here to sort of 57, maybe even all the way down to sort of 55,000. Completely possible. I'm not saying that's what's happening. I'm just saying it's definitely possible. Now, what I am happy is we have just blasted past this. It's been good. You know, we did kind of almost test it. You know, we broke through, but it was quickly bought up. So you can see people are quite eager to buy Bitcoin. And again, we go back to the Bitcoin dominance chart, just under 46%. Uh, and again, we've come from, you know, 30 something percent. So people are happy to be buying Bitcoin. So at the moment, things are looking good. And I am now starting to look at altcoins. Still buying Bitcoin. I don't ever really stop buying Bitcoin unless it's sort of going parabolic and really just going into, you know, crazy all-time highs. That's when I won't be buying too much of it. I'll always generally put like a couple of dollars maybe. But again, if it's really kind of parabolic, I've learned my lesson, then I'll just kind of let it run and wait for pullbacks before I jump in. But at this point, I think it's 
It's not too far away. Bitcoin is going to break through and go into old, old uh, into new all-time highs. So I'm pretty happy to get into altcoins. It was really around about here, kind of the fifty-eight thousand dollar mark. If we could get through there, now it's definitely possible we come back and retest it. Like I said, maybe come back and retest fifty-five thousand. I'm pretty happy to get into altcoins. So we're going to speak about some altcoins and mid caps. And again, I, I've probably got two or three low caps again things that are outside the top 100 otherwise everything is in the top 100 and generally a lot of them are in the top 50 that's for sure so all right my number one mid cap that i really like and again this is never financial advice matic slash polygon love what they're doing love the whole program the whole team all the different platforms that they've been you know been onboarding that they bought up uh the hermes project and they're going to go into the roll-ups i mean what's not to like and here we go we can see the chart i mean we bring this back this is where it started there was kind of a lot of sort of sideways action for matic for a really long time and then it hit this point again that was uh, november sort of last year and then it just really started to move uh you know had that sideways uh movement of a lot of accumulation and then it just made this huge move. And here's the kind of blow off top. And now we came down, we found the bottom, but really it's just been traveling sideways. And if you run through the middle here, about $1.35. And that where's the price? Not too far above $1.35 now. So for me, I actually think Maddox's not too bad a buy. And according to this, it's possibly undervalued. But again, this line can easily move. This is just where it's got the most touches for now. This could travel sideways for, you know, let's say it traveled sideways for a year, and I'm not saying it's going to, then you would have to move this line a little bit or maybe put in a new point from here starting to go across there. But for the moment, Matic looking very nice. And again, it had a move. It, you know, jumped up uh, a fair few percent, 20% or something. It was only a few days ago, so looking quite nice and this is the daily here against the dollar so a lot of sideways movement eventually what can we see when we get a whole lot of sideways movement so it went sideways for a really long time and then eventually it just started to pop and that is what i expect from matic i think matic or well, we'll call it polygon because that's what it is now <laughs> i don't know why i'm still calling it matic i think polygon will be one of the biggest sort of layer two solutions if not the biggest by a country mile on ethereum but we've still got arbitrum and optimism and all the rest of it coming so you know they could be outdone but i am very bullish i just like the team and everything that they've done they've been really smart how they've gone about things and they are looking to be interoperable as well so that is even more good news coming for polygon so for me this just looked like accumulation and it's still somewhat in the accumulation phase i think it hasn't broken out we certainly haven't gone to new all-time highs so for me matic is something i'd be looking to buy based on this chart but we don't want to just go by the dollar because everything can look again good against the dollar but that's because we know what's happening to the dollar it's being deflated what about how it's doing against ethereum and bitcoin all right the dollar looks nice somewhat similar against ethereum we can see it had its big blow off top and it's just been coming down now it's found support here a number of times it's just bounced bounced we had that last little bit of capitulation and now we're back up back up again so this is the floor now this floor may move if for me what i'm looking for is in the next bear market if i see matic come down below this dotted line somewhere down here i'm going to know it's probably a good buy now again it's not guaranteed and i can't tell you that it's exactly here it's exactly down there I'm just going to say here looks like a good buy but it may never come back down here then i may start having to look between these lines but we'll just have to wait and see but at the moment anywhere from this uh this line here down to here is what i'll be looking for in the bear market for where i want to pick up for now because we're in a bull market it's more somewhere around about here and we've come down pretty close to that and what we can see is i've got another white line here this is just where there's been a bit of sort of support we have sort of broken through it but then we quickly got bought up bought back up so for me again i think matic is looking quite good it's undervalued on the dollar according to my chart it looks like it has found its bottom and it's just ranging against ethereum so i get the feeling like it's going to get ready to pop again and finally now against bitcoin and it's had a very similar pattern 
So he travelled sideways, and again, it finally made its move. Boom, came up, came back down. Bit of sideways movement, boom, came up, came back down. Boom, came back down. Now look at this big accumulation sort of period here. It was just holding strength with Bitcoin. Boom, this pattern just keeps repeating. And now, this is where we are today. Move this up just a little bit. So I had the big move. It came back down. It actually broke down below. And that's all right. Just because it breaks down below, it just, that wasn't the actual bottom line. We can move that. But hindsight's always a great thing. But now we've got this white line down here. And that is where it seems to have found support a number of times. But really, it's been sort of more holding around about this point, which is, again, you can then, I suppose, oh, that's not good. Oh, that'll still work. Sort of come down to here. And look where we are. Move that over so slightly. Actually, I know what we can do. Just move that. Anyway, I'll fix that chart up later. But you can see, this is where it's basically found support. Now, this could again come lower. So for me, Matic still looks good. And the dollar looks undervalued. On the Ethereum chart, looks really good. And on the Bitcoin chart. Now, it's not to say it's going to hold this and continue to rocket higher. Because if Bitcoin goes on a run, then this is going to start to come down. But just because this is going down here, doesn't mean it's losing money in its dollar value. It's just getting beaten by Bitcoin. Because remember, this is Matic against Bitcoin. So for me, down around this kind of white line to this yellow line, if it's down there, for me, it feels like a really good buy. I'm not saying it, you couldn't get it here. I'd probably be looking for a better entry for it to hopefully come back down around about here. But it may not. Again, look where it is right now. It's had a number of touch points here already. So this could be the bottom and it might be getting ready to run. But again, when all of these things start to run, it's probably going to be when Bitcoin has had a run and is starting to cool off. That may be happening now. So Matic, that is my number one mid cap because I consider Matic a mid cap. I don't consider it uh, a big cap. That's more the top 10, you know, s s yeah, some coins in the top 20 and I don't think Matic, uh, I think Matic might be uh, in the teens. Right, Aave. So it's my blue chip DeFi. Again, this is what I consider a, a mid cap because it's further down uh, outside of the top 20. I think it's outside of the top 20. I think it's in the 20s though. So again, here it is against the dollar. And you've got to remember, it doesn't have a lot of price history because Aave used to be Lend and then it became Aave. So you'd have to go back to the Lend chart to you know get what it was before. But this has been the average. And again, it's had a number of touch points. I mean, look at that touch point. It's almost perfect. It got shorted all the way down to where it had some old uh, resistance and that was support and got bought up. And again, come down, bounced off there. And look at that. This really has been quite a big accumulation phase. I mean, this has been going on for months with a bit of chop, but basically from today all the way back to... Let's say around about sort of here. So January. So this has been an accumulation phase for months. Yes, it goes up and yes, it goes down. But on average, it's kind of running through here. And look at that price. Again, it's doing all the work for me. $310 thereabouts. This looks like it's kind of fair price. It has stayed above it more than it's been below it since January this year. Now again, everything can change. All of a sudden we could be in a bear market and Bitcoin goes down, this gets invalidated. But at the moment, Aave looks good and I think it's got another big move coming once we get you know, into another sort of real crazy alt season because we're not in one yet. Bitcoin will need to get up and run and do its thing before altcoins are likely to do that. But that's based on previous history. Things can change and probably will change in the future. So on the dollar value, it looks like this has been a massive accumulation phase for Aave. Have a look at this. Versus Ethereum. Same, something very similar. Not quite the same, but similar. Pumped up, came back down, touched this. Pumped up, came back down, touched this. Again, old support resistance lines. Pumped up, it kept pumping up, and look at it now. It's just been coming down, 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 down. So for me, versus Ethereum, this is the buy zone. So for me, anywhere between this yellow line and this red line is where I would say uh, 
is a good time to pick up Aave versus Ethereum. Now again, it's not to say it can't go lower. It could come all the way down to this red. Here's the scary part. It might come down and set a new low because this is the floor price at the moment. This is as low as Aave has been against Ethereum. It's not to say it couldn't go lower. I just don't know if it's going to. So for me, anywhere between here and here versus Ethereum, I say is a buy is a buy zone. I'm probably less likely to buy up here if I can see it going down like it is. But this is almost it's probably a little bit under halfway. Halfway is around about there. So for me, yeah, I think Ave looks great. I think it looks like a really good buy, but it doesn't mean I'd go and pour everything into it simply because it's this price. Because what if what happens if it is going to set another low? So I would be dollar cost averaging into it at these prices waiting for this to turn into this. That's what I'm waiting for. So Aave looks great on the dollar, great on Ethereum, and something very similar against Bitcoin. So that's the floor price. I don't know if it'll ever come back to there again. We'll have to wait and see. And then this became anywhere between here was a good buy, but it just wasn't going lower. It was just getting bought up when it gets to there. And then there was this price, and now it gets bought up when it gets to there. And again, now this became the price where it was getting bought up and this is against Bitcoin now what we can see is it's fallen just below it and this might now be this this could be the floor price we'll just have to wait and see but what I'm seeing is this could be a good buy again I'd probably want it to be more about halfway so wait for it to come down to sort of 4,600 uh, sats against Bitcoin and I'd be more happy to buy it but considering it looks really good against ETH and it looks really good against the US dollar, I think Aave looks good. And that is my blue chip uh, DeFi project. I really like what Aave doing, financial licenses in Europe, looking to get a financial license uh, in parts of Asia. And then I think it'll just be off to the races off that. And they do have Aave Pro coming, which is uh, a KYC program that they will be running for institutional investors. Again, I just I really like Aave. This to me just seems like a big accumulation phase. They are really trying to shake people out. Uh, and I, I think a lot of this is big institutions and that buying this up, trying to shake people out. And I say that based on this, it's just been getting smashed down and down and down. A lot of the DeFi, excuse me, projects have. A lot of people have got scared and DeFi is not as popular anymore. But where else do you get yield? DeFi, staking and things like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if this gets pushed down. And look, we could set in a new low, but Aave just looks really good to me. All the charts are looking quite juicy. Again, not to say it can't come down to here. Maybe even has to come down to here uh, against uh, BTC. Definitely possible. I'm just not so sure. All right, now we move on to gaming. So Engine, I really like Engine. If you're into NFTs, uh, and gaming and things like that in crypto, particularly when we're talking about the Ethereum space, Engine set the standard. So I got into Engine a long, long time ago, uh, back around about here, so I was pretty happy. I, I can't remember what price I got it, but I'm going to say around about sort of 80 cents under a dollar. And again, it just traveled sideways for a long time, and I was looking to sell it because it just wasn't performing. But sometimes this shows you that your underperformers can all of a sudden come to life and then boom, and now look, this traveling sideways reminds me of this. Boom, fall off a little bit. Boom, fall off a little bit. Could this be getting ready to do that again? And again, have a look. This is the average mean price. It looks like it's undervalued. So in the dollar, engine's looking good. Let's have a look at it against Ethereum. <sighs> Doesn't this look like a heartbeat chart sort of? Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But here's the floor price. Again, if you see engine somewhere you know, below this yellow line down to this red line, for me, that says it's a good buy against Ethereum. And then we set this new top. We can see it's been resistance a few times. It's been support. And now look where we are sitting right now. So engine against Ethereum is starting to look good. I'm not saying this is the price to jump in because I think it could definitely start to come down low. But between this yellow line and this orange line, I'm definitely considering buying some engine. If it gets down to this yellow line and starts to come in between the red line, 
I'm really starting to sort of back the truck up because that's going to tell me that this is probably you know a really good price to buy. Now we may never see it down here again. That's what you need to remember. Crypto is so new; it's been down here a number of times over the years. But that's before all the big money came, and that's before you know the rest of the world gets in. So this line here may become this line. We'll have to wait and see. It'll depend on how Engine does. But gaming and NFTs, I, I really believe they're going to be massive. And, you know, it's all based off, uh, you know, the Engine. They wrote the code. That's what I'm trying to say. They wrote the code for all that stuff. So I think Engine has a really big future. So at the moment, it's just sitting right on the mark where I'm considering to buy it. And now this is, again, against ETH. On the dollar, it looks pretty good. So let's have a look how it's doing against Bitcoin. Now, we had this, sorry, we had this pennant here. And I just thought this looks so bullish. And it did for a minute, and then it just rolled over. But have a look where it is right now. We can see it is, at least on the, at the moment, sitting on some pretty key significant areas. Now I get the feeling like it's probably gonna break down considering how it is sitting right on the ETH one. I think it's possible it comes down. So for me, engine, it's a project I like. I will not be selling all my engine. I'll be holding on to at least half of my engine uh, just because I really like the whole thing and the guys behind it, like I said, they wrote the code for NFTs. They literally, <laughs> they are the experts. So for me, this is where I start looking at it. Doesn't mean I start to pile in money, but I may start to DCA into engine, particularly if I start to see it go lower. But it may bounce from here and just rock it off. We'll have to wait and see. Engine, again, all these ones that I'm in, uh, all these ones that I'm showing you, I've invested in and I plan to continue investing in. These are the ones I like. I've got other coins that I'm not so sold on. All the ones I'm showing you right now, I'm sold on. But... Synthetics. I'm still sold on synthetics. I really like it, but I understand why people wouldn't want to get into it. There's a lot of people scared about regulators coming down hard on DeFi and particularly, you know, synthetic derivatives and things like that. So just be wary. This, I still like synthetics, but this is my highest risk uh, sort of play on this video. <laughs> yeah, again, I, I'm not selling. I was lucky I got in fairly cheap, I think. You know, a, a bulk of my synthetics I bought for under a dollar. I think I was getting it around about 80 cents. Uh, it, you know, went all the way up to, I think, $28, yeah, $29. And now it's sitting around about $9. But what I see here is this looks, you know, it's we've got some sideways action. It's not dumping. We've just got sideways action going. And again, it's not much higher than sort of this mark down here. So for me, anywhere from sort of, let's just round it up to $8 to around about, I'd probably say sort of here, because we've got some confluence to $11, seems like a pretty good buy against the dollar. And again, it looks like it's undervalued. Here's the channel it's been in for quite some time, and now it looks like it's undervalued. And a lot of these other coins uh, have been the same. And this is a DeFi with a lot of regulatory uh, worries, and it's still traveling sideways. So how are we doing against ETH? A very similar chart pattern that we're sort of seeing on a number of these coins at the moment. Here's the floor. If you can buy from this price down to here, I reckon this is where it starts to be a really good buy. This is where I thought it might hold, but it didn't. It's come down to here and that's fine. So again, anywhere from this dotted line down to this uh, slashed line, I'm starting to consider it. Once it gets down to this point, and down into the red, that's where I'm definitely going. This is probably a really good buy. But again, the only thing that puts me off on synthetics is just the worry of regulatory, uh, you know, actions coming against it. But, you know, they're, they're a lot more decentralized. You know, they've had a whole stack of token drops for Thales Network uh, and Quenta's coming soon. So I'm sticking with it. I haven't sold any major positions. I took some profits from synthetics quite some time ago but I'm not selling out in any major way. And if this continues, I will start to scale back into synthetics. Around that kind of $9 mark is looking pretty good at the moment where it is, but we just got to wait and see how it does against Ethereum. So how's it doing against Bitcoin? Again, something very similar. There's the floor. Anywhere between this price and down here, I would say it's probably a pretty good buy. It doesn't mean you just dive straight in. 
but if you're into synthetics here is where I thought it might hold because it had a lot of confluence but it's dropped below but now again I'm not even drawing this line look where it's sitting it's almost halfway between these two marks not quite I'd say halfway is probably around about here so about 1400 uh, sorry 14,500 sats is probably where I'm really going to start to consider synthetics it's just that regulatory stuff that worries me but I really like the program I've been uh, the project I've been with them for ages I stake and yeah love everything about it but I understand why a lot of people have gotten really scared but it also may be the big players simply trying to shake people out as well because why doesn't it just keep dipping why hasn't it gone below nine dollars seems like there's going to be some support there and more so uh, where it is against Bitcoin um, and Ethereum all right last but not least this is my low cap and I spoke about this oh I can't remember it's probably about a week or two ago secret network so this used to be Enigma so it's a project that was built by some guys uh, possibly some girls but some people out of MIT so this is only showing their history since Oh no, that would be it, yeah, 2018, uh, 2017, sorry. So this would have been Enigma. I think they only changed to Secret Token in 2020, 2019, something like that. So anyway, here's the big dip of everything. We know that that happened. And look at its trajectory ever since. And it just keeps bouncing off here. Now we have gone below. Now we've gone above. So for me, Secret at the moment, while I really like the project, I just don't know if I would be aping into it at the moment. But... There's a lot going on in the project, and we'll have a look very shortly. This still doesn't look too bad. It's not quite at fair value, and I would expect it to possibly come back down. But again, not looking too bad at sort of $4. Just how high can it go? Well, what about uh, against Ethereum, though? So again, here's the bottom. Here's where it starts to look super interesting in a bear market, I would say. When it's down in here, it could set new lows. Who knows? Here's the point where I'd start to get interested. So again, for me, secret at the moment, it, it could be a little bit sort of oversold. I'm not saying if you don't like secret, don't buy any, but just know that you're starting to get up near kind of all-time highs, uh, particularly against Ethereum, which is not great. I would probably sort of wait for it to come back down to around about here before I start to look at it and hopefully buy somewhere in and around here. That's if it comes back though. It may not, like if everything just picks up and starts to run, look where it is sitting right now. Old resistance, resistance support, resistance, resistance and support. So this could have found the bottom. That right there may have been the bottom and now we could start to make another big way up, particularly if, again, you believe that we're in a bull market and I think most people believe we're still in a bull market and things could get interesting. But again, this isn't the dollar, this is against Ethereum. If Ethereum starts to run and Secret doesn't, then this absolutely probably will come down. But if this runs, which it already has, I think there's a good chance this is probably going to come back down. So Secret Network, this is my biggest, uh, it's not a wildcard play. Once upon a time, you could have called it a wildcard play. But Secret Network's 128. I've only got a couple of coins outside of the 100. I literally think there's about three secrets one of them and it's been one of my best performers so for me this is absolutely something i will buy back into when it starts to come back down all right what against what about against bitcoin though same thing against bitcoin we can see anywhere down here was really a good place to generally buy and then it comes up to here it's sold off and so look where it is right now almost down around about here so if bitcoin and ethereum you know run and secret doesn't I get the feeling this is going to come back down and somewhere around about here so 4,000 and sort of 50 sats is where I'll really start to look at getting some secret now again it's not that I don't want to buy secret at you know a certain price it's just I want to make sure I get the best deal and at the moment it's had a pump up uh, and I am just waiting for it to come back down but again look this could pump up and do something crazy like this we'll have to wait and see but there you go ladies and gentlemen they're my mid cap and my sort of one really low cap which is secret network and you could almost call synthetics uh no you wouldn't call it a low cap at all but secret network is my low cap now also i just want to show you secret network they actually have a lot of people following them so they got a one hundred thousand people following them uh again 
I've done some videos about them before. Go back and have a look if you want or do your own research. This is my low cap pick. Now it is up quite substantially from when I got it, but I think there's still plenty of upside to come. All right, that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. That's my mid caps and my sort of one low cap. Stay safe, be kind to one another. You should all be on that game train and I'll see you next time.